Everyone likes a good story and no one can tell one better than the media companies out there. But what's really interesting is trying to go beneath the surface to find out how some of the major brands in media and entertainment came to be. Welcome to WatchMonjo.com, I'm your host Ashkan Karbis Rushan, and today we take a look at the history of News Corporation. Now, News Corporation was actually set up in 1980, uh, but the origins of the company go back to 1952 when Sir Keith Murdoch, Rupert Murdoch's father, passed away and Rupert Murdoch inherited his father's newspaper company. Unlike most other major media companies, News Corp's origins hail from Australia. In 1973, News Corp had its first American asset when it bought the San Antonio Express News. The San Antonio deal was the first of many to come for Rupert Murdoch. He bought the National Star, which was a supermarket tabloid. Then in 1976, he purchased the New York Post. Shortly thereafter, in 1981, he bought 50% of 20th Century Fox, and he went on to buy the other half by 1984. The next year, he bought the Metro Media Group of TV stations, and by 1986, the company we now know as Fox Broadcasting was born. From 2005 to 2006, he decided to reposition his company as an internet powerhouse. He acquired MySpace, the popular social networking site, IGN, and Photobucket. In short, he spent $2 billion to create one of the most powerful new media companies in the world. While those deals led to the creation of an internet powerhouse, it was nothing compared to what he had in store in 2007 when News Corp unleashed an unsolicited bid for Dow Jones, owner of Barron's, and of course, Wall Street Journal, for $5 billion. But News Corp has also had its fair share of setbacks. DirecTV is a unit that has led it to lose a lot of money, and even successes like MySpace TV have had their share of controversy as sexual predators have used the site to lure innocent victims. But when it's all said and done, News Corp is arguably the best positioned media company in the world with assets like HarperCollins, MySpace, as well as Fox, which remains one of the strongest networks out there. 